In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly why you should be using Performance Max campaigns in 2023. With the way that modern online advertising is moving, it's becoming more and more obvious that if you want to succeed online and market your business effectively, then you need to be advertising everywhere. Yes, you heard me right, everywhere. It's been long established that the average person needs around seven touch points with a business before they convert into a paying customer. This concept was popularized in 1987 by Dr. Jeffrey Launt. But times have changed and things have moved past advertising techniques of the 1980s. People have more choice than ever before and are almost constantly bombarded with advertising of one kind or another. This means that those seven touch points don't really cut it anymore and many studies have shown that those seven touch points have now increased to around 21. So when it comes to online advertising, it really does mean that you need to be everywhere. But don't get overwhelmed, there is an easy way that won't break the bank. Google Performance Max campaigns. They will help you create an online omnipresence which will convert leads into paying customers. So, if you haven't already started using Performance Max in your ad account, then let me show you just how powerful they can be. Performance Max is a goal-based campaign type that Google rolled out at the end of 2021. So, it's been over a year, but I know that people are still reluctant to try it out. But Performance Max allows you to create that everywhere all at once effect quickly and easily. When you think of Google Ads, you probably envision search ads where you pay to show up first when someone searches for a business like yours. That's just one touch point. What about the rest? With Performance Max campaigns, you can run search ads while also expanding to new audiences that Google's AI predicts will be high converters for you. This includes YouTube, Display Ads, Discover, Gmail and Maps. Google has an amazing amount of information about user behavior, including search history, watched YouTube videos, as well as your physical location. They also have one of the world's leading AI systems that can help predict what users do next. Using these insights, Google can accurately predict who is most likely to convert for you, even without specific searches. All you need to do is provide Google with your campaign goal, budget, targeting information, and your creative assets. Google's machine learning then determines the best combination for each person on each platform. And it's constantly improving performance and profitability as you use it more. So the longer that your Performance Max campaign is running, the better the results. So how do you get started with Performance Max ads? Like a traditional Google Ads campaign, first, you need to determine your goal. You have three options. Sales, which is for e-commerce stores selling products online. Leads, which is for service-based businesses that use lead forms online or any other lead generation. Or local store visits, which is to drive visits to a physical location. Choose this goal carefully as Google will use this to optimize your performance for. Next, you need to choose your budget and your bidding strategy. With Performance Max, you have two options. Maximize conversions, which means Google will bid to get you the most conversions possible for your budget. Or you can choose target cost per conversion, meaning Google will bid more for conversions that are likely to bring in the most value. Then you need to provide Google with the necessary assets. Specifically, here is what you need to provide three to five different headlines, which are 30 characters or less, one to five longer headlines, which are 90 characters or less, two to five descriptions, three to 20 images, your logo, a call to action, and optionally five videos of over 10 seconds. By giving Google these resources, you empower its algorithm to create effective ads for different audiences on different platforms. Remember, you're not just creating one ad here. You're giving Google all of the raw materials it can use to create many combinations of ads. You can also link Merchant Center if you're an e-commerce store or Google Profiles if you're a brick and mortar location. You can also use Google's Template Builder for a video ad if you don't already have one. While this won't be the best video ad you've ever seen, the setup is quick and simple and it gives your business an extra touch point. The next step is you need to set up your targeting audience. 
This will require a bit of research on your part, but it should be something that you're acquainted with already. You can specify basic demographic information like age, location and gender, or target people who are actively looking for what you offer. You can even upload a list of your customers to help Google find similar audiences to show your ads to. This feature is similar to Facebook's lookalike audiences and offers you a powerful way to target new prospects. But the main difference here is Facebook is just one website, whereas Google is everywhere. So if you're still not convinced, here are my three top reasons why you should start using Performance Max ads in 2023. User search patterns are rapidly evolving. Tools like chatbots and home assistants are changing the way that people search. But Performance Max campaigns excel in reaching audiences across multiple platforms, like Search, YouTube, Display, Maps and Gmail. Exact Match aren't exactly Exact Match anymore. Exact Match keywords no longer function like they used to. Even with Exact Match selected, Google may still show your ads to related searches. This change diminishes the advantage that search and shopping ads had when using specific keywords. Performance Max ads offer more versatility by showing multiple ads across different networks. The growing demand for video content. Users' demand for video content is increasing rapidly. Reports indicate a significant rise in video consumption. Google is actively monetizing platforms like YouTube and Short to attract more video content creators. And as such, more and more advertisers are shifting their budgets toward video. And many marketers believe that video will play a crucial role in Google Ads over the next two years. I'm hoping that by now that you've come around to the idea of Performance Max, so here are a few things that you need to keep in mind. If up until now you have primarily been using search campaigns and find that they are still profitable for you, then don't jump straight to Performance Max. By that I mean don't put all of your eggs in the Performance Max basket. Continue running your search campaigns, but I recommend slowly introducing a Performance Max campaign for one product or service at a time. However, if your search campaigns are underperforming, feel free to jump straight in. Since YouTube looks like it's going to be a high performance platform for a lot of industries, I recommend that you start investing in good video content. Then start running video campaigns with a smaller budget to test their effectiveness. You can then use these video ads later in your Performance Max campaigns. Unfortunately, while Performance Max is more intelligent than previous campaign types, it's not yet clever enough to optimise itself. So, like any campaign, as time goes on, you will need to optimise it to get the best results. However, lucky for you, I have created an ultimate Google Ads optimization checklist. Just follow the link down in the description to download it. It will help guide you through daily, weekly and monthly optimizations for Performance Max as well as search and shopping, so check it out. And that's it. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and check out the other content on our channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!